palette from Hourglass. They bring these out every single year and this is actually my first purchase of these limited edition palettes. So I'm gonna try to show you guys what this palette looks like without blinding you from the lights in here in my beauty room. But this palette is something, if I can figure that out, how to do that, Ooh. Anyway, this palette is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this palette is so pretty. I love this palette. Mwah. I recently just bought it on the Sephora website. I have been dreaming about this palette since the day that it was announced on Hourglass and I have been going back and forth. Do I need it? Do I not? Do I need it? Do I want it? I really, really want it, but do I, do I want to spend $80 on it? Do I need to spend $80 on it? I was just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now, many of you guys know that I personally love Hourglass Face products. I love their foundations. I really love their setting powder, their bronzer, and the ambient lighting palette. So the ambient lighting palette is $62, and it is worth every single solitary penny. I use this on a daily basis and this kind of helped me decide on this palette. So the other one that I have, I have tons of hourglass stuff, but the one that I use on a daily basis is this ambient bronze light. Now I have the bigger one. I haven't cracked open to it yet because I am still using this one, but I love their face products. This is $62. So basically for $18 more, I thought, you know what? I splurged and got this for $62. I use this daily. So I'm like, you know what? If you love this so much, more than likely you're gonna love this. Meaning I'm okay with spending $80 as long as it's on something that I will use a lot or that I'm not completely wasting my money. So that is the reason why I went ahead and bought it. Now I wanna show you guys, there is a size difference on these on the ambient lighting palette compared to this one. These are just a little bit smaller. But you guys, this is so beautiful and it's actually prettier in real life. Like, I am so happy I got this. The reason for this video is because I wanted to show you guys how I use it on the face. For those of you guys that have been on the fence with getting this palette, I wanted to test it out and see if it was something that you could use on your eyes as well. I don't know if you're, you know, if you're somebody out there that maybe travels a lot and this would come in really handy to throw it in your bag and just have one palette for all over the face. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna test this out. I'm gonna put it on the face, but I'm also gonna put it on the eyes just to see if it has enough pigmentation to create a look on the eyes. So this is the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlock Palette. And they just recently released the Edit Volume 4 palette. I will put a picture of that one right up here. Now the reason why I decided to get this one instead of this one is because this one has more like bronzers and blushes. And don't get me wrong, those bronzers are gorgeous and I know I would get use out of them. But for me, I felt like with this palette, I would get more use out of it. But you guys, I love this palette so much that I might end up picking up that palette. I might, I don't know. I'm on the fence, but I chose this one because it had more of a variety of like kind of just an all over face. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's start playing with this. The only thing that I have on right now is foundation, concealer, brows, and then I use concealer as my eyelid primer. So that's all I got. All right, let's follow the instructions on this. So it comes with this little card. It says um, number one, number one, number two, three, three, four. So number one is they are referring to this one and this one. Okay, the first two in the palette. And number one is a finish powder. So it is um, apply soft light or filtered light finishing powder all over the face. So basically that is kind of just like an all over finishing powder. It doesn't seem like it has much of a shimmer to it. It's just more of like a soft finishing powder. And number two is a bronze. So this is the bronzer in the palette. This is number two. And uh, contour along the temples, hollows of the cheeks and jawline with golden bronze light. So that is the shade in this palette. It's golden bronze light. Number three, which these two are both considered three, which I love that. They have two different shades of blush. So number three, applied Nude Glow, which is this one, or Mood Flush, which is this one, to the apples of the cheeks. Definitely excited to do that, because I love me some blush. And then number four 
is considered the highlighter and that is the last shade in the palette and it is very beautiful. So highlight, apply this champagne strobe light to the high points of the face, tops of the cheek, bridge of the nose, brow bone, and cupid's bow can be used wet for a more intense highlight. I want to use those um, first two shades in the palette to set down the concealer on my eyelids and underneath my eyes. So I'm just going to take this brush, this is from BH Cosmetics, and I'm going to take that first shade in the palette and I'm going to go over my eyelid primer and set down my concealer. Except for you got to get rid of the creases. Alright, now I think I'm going to use that to set my concealer. Now, if you guys watch my channel all the time, you know that I do not normally put powders underneath my eyes, but I do want to test this out because I want to see how it lays under the eye. If it's soft, if it's just kind of a, like a diffused type powder. So I'm going to take this brush from Morphe. This is the M536 brush. Make sure I don't have any creases and I'm just going to kind of set this. Ooh, that's pretty. Again, making sure I don't have any creases. And by the way, I am wearing the Tarte Creaseless Concealer and the Lancome Ultra, Ultra Wear Foundation. So that is what I'm wearing on my face. Okay, that worked really good. It kind of sets it down, but it's not harsh. It's not a thick, harsh powder. So that's a good thing. All right, let's move on to the bronzer. I use this big brush for my bronzer. This is the Morphe E41. Because the bronzer is on the outer corner, I'm gonna try to go in there and just pick up that shade only. And I'm gonna place this on my cheeks. Ooh, that's pretty. Most of you guys know I love my um, ambient bronzer. My I use the ambient bronze light. I love that bronzer. It is my favorite bronzer. And this is gorgeous. This looks so pretty, you guys. Oh, oh my gosh. I knew I was going to love this palette. I knew. I just knew it. I'd much rather spend $80 on a palette like this than maybe, you know, like $120, $130 on an eyeshadow palette. Like, this is what I live for, is a beautiful face palette. This is stunning. That bronzer is gorgeous. Let's go into the blush. So I'm gonna use one blush on one side and one blush on the other so you guys can see what it looks like. So I'm gonna take my Morphe E4 brush and I'm gonna go into this first shade and we're gonna place that one on this side. Ooh, that's pretty. It's just very soft. It's one thing that I love about Hourglass. Their bronzers, their blush, everything is just very, very soft and just stunning on the face. I have two brushes that are exactly the same. I'm gonna grab my other one and I'm gonna go in to this one right here. So I'm gonna put that on this side. like to tap out the blush with a beauty blender. Okay, personally, I think I like this one better. I think this one just gives more of a natural look. This one's for those days where you really need that pop. So far, so good. I'm super excited about this palette. All right, let's use the highlighter. I am going to go into the tapered highlighter. I'm going to grab my F35 brush from Sigma, and let's kind of swipe this so pretty oh my gosh this is so pretty okay this is what dreams are made of that is so beautiful look how pretty that is oh my gosh I'm obsessed oh I knew I was gonna love this palette it's just like a light beautiful natural flush of highlight not overwhelming on the skin. It goes beautifully over the skin. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Let's see how pigmented these are and if we can use them on our eyes. Because, I mean, I really wanna know. Like, I wanna know if this is a type of palette that I can throw in my luggage and not have to take an eyeshadow palette. Like, I, I wanna know that. Plus, 
If you're gonna spend that much on something, you wanna know that you can use it on the eyes. You wanna know if the pigmentation is there. I think I'm just gonna take like a wispy brush and I'm gonna go into the highlighter part and I'm just gonna sweep this over my eyelid. I'm gonna take this brush from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill collection. This is the JH39 and I'm gonna go down, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go down into the highlighter and I'm going to highlight my inner corner right here but I think I might wet it down. Let's try to wet it down and see what it does. Oh yeah, you get way more of an effect when you wet it down. Okay, let's do the brow bone really quick. So I'm gonna take the JH42 brush and I'm just gonna wet it down a little bit and highlight the brow bone. Obviously, you know, we're just gonna do more of a natural type look. I'm gonna go in with the bronzer. Let's just go in and start building that up. I mean, obviously it'll probably take quite a bit to kind of build. You gotta kind of go down in there a um, couple of times to build up the color. But once you build it up, it's pretty. It's just a natural flush of color. That looks so pretty, you guys. It just kind of has that like natural look to it. Very natural, elegant, but very beautiful at the same time. Now I'm kind of just bringing it down and just kind of making sure that I kind of have the look that I want. Okay, now I have that where I want it. I'm absolutely obsessed, personally. That's so pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna wipe that brush off. I'm gonna first go into the Nude Glow and then I think I'll deepen it with that blush shade. So, I'm basically just putting this all over my lid just to see what it looks like. In fact, I think I'm gonna take a brush like this. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill 41 brush. And I'm just gonna kinda of coat my eyelids with this. I don't know that I wanna put that other one on there. I think that looks really pretty. Let's do the lower lash line. Like literally, this is like the quickest eye look ever. I'm gonna take this brush from the Dose of Colors Baked Browns palette and I'm gonna go into the bronzer on that ambient palette and I'm gonna bring it down on the lower lash line. Okay, I'm officially obsessed with this palette. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love this look. Like, I freaking love this look. I am gonna go back in with that highlighter and kind of bring that a little bit more in that inner corner. I'm absolutely obsessed. Like, this is one of my favorite eye looks. Like, this is gorgeous. It's just very elegant and shimmery and just gives so much life to the eyes really like this a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead, go off camera, finish my eyes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I went ahead and put on these from Ardell. These are the Demi Wispies. These are just a little bit more natural. So I decided that I thought that would be kind of appropriate with an eye look like this. As far as the lippy, this is the nude lip liner number two from KKW Beauty. And in the middle, I used this from Fenty. This is the Stunna Lip Paint in Unbutton. I'm loving this shade. I love these from Fenty. These are awesome. Okay, let's get into this palette. I am so happy that I got this palette. I was like, oh my gosh, $80 for a face palette. Like, that is crazy expensive. But I know that I love Hourglass products. I'll be honest with you, this is probably one of my favorite purchases um, from Hourglass. I mean, I struggle with paying, you know, $120, $130 for an eyeshadow palette. That is really hard for me, which is one reason why I don't own a lot of the Pat McGrath palettes and the Natasha Denona palettes because they are super crazy expensive. And I do feel like they're good quality, but I just kind of, it's hard for me to justify it. But this, on the other hand, I feel like I can totally justify it because this is something that I could totally use on a daily basis. I love the blushes in here. I love the bronzer. I love the highlighter. This is a nice, awesome palette. So if you guys have been thinking about getting this, 100% you will not be disappointed. These just go on the face so beautifully and I think Hourglass is very unique with their products because they do lay over the face very naturally and just 
they give the face such a natural looking glow. It's just amazing. It's like a glow from within. I love Hourglass. So glad I got this palette. And as you can see, I love the way it looks on my eyes. It's not uncommon for me when I'm not filming and I'm getting ready to go somewhere, I will throw my bronzer and my blush in my crease and go out the door. Like that is very common for me. And so I kind of felt like I love the way this looks because it looks very cohesive and my eyes kind of match what I've got going on on the face. They're kind of all same symmetrical shades. So I'm obsessed with this palette. You can totally use this on the eyes. If you guys have been thinking about getting this, you will not be disappointed. I promise you you will not be disappointed. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you guys are thinking about getting this, let me know in the comments down below. I'm always curious about a product that I'm reviewing if it's something that you guys have been wanting to pick up. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys are going to be picking it up. I hope you guys have a fantastic day filled with love, happiness, and joy. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Bye.